Hi guys, this is Louis again, and welcome to our new talk show number 11. This is the Sentence Talk Show, and in this show, we're going to talk about the Divine Son of God Morgan, which is also known as the Voice of God. And we're also going to talk about my newly discovered abilities, energy abilities. Let's start it off with some questions about Morgan, which is yes. our, our Sentence member, Morgan. Are you here? Hello everyone. I hope you enjoy this talk show. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, definitely. We spent some time off to gather this information from um, my future self, the pre-pre creator, and TJ helped to do these readings. So he's definitely helping us out. Let's go ahead because we have a lot of questions this time, a lot of questions and a yeah. lot of answers from the pre-pre creator. So let's start off with the, our first question. Our first question to uh, the pre-pre creator is how were the first demons created? And what did you get, Morgan? Because the answer was sinners. So were, were the first ones sinners by any chance, do you think? Well, sinners, I would think, would be like humans, right? Because mm -hmm. they didn't say that it was like a god or anything, right? Okay. So sinners, I believe, would be like a lower level being, which probably would be humans. Okay. Right? So... Yeah, so I guess the humans got converted. They needed to, to be punished kind of thing? Well, I think being in a human body is already a pretty bad punishment from mm -hmm. my current readings. I mean, I didn't know that previously, but I've been doing readings on our own group, readings on people that my clients want to know about. And when I compare the readings of us compared to them, right? It's almost like the humans are like drones, okay. right? Be just because they're kind of like stuck in some pre-programmings that they don't know. They don't know that they're stuck in some pre-programmings, right? Uh, so, not, not free well. And also um, the society also influences them, right? Yes. Yeah. So, it's very sad. So how do you find your true self? You got to remove some of those bad programmings, remove some of those blockages, energy blockages, and that's what our group is all about, the ascendance, yeah. right? No chakras, right? Yeah. So let's do the next question. Number two, why did God create Morgan? What did we you get? Got no purpose. <laughs> well, I think it's not that no purpose. I think mm -hmm. God just likes to create. So yeah. he's a creator, no right? And he'll just do it just because that's what he does, right? It's yeah, because I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm from the same line as you, but we're we're similar, but we're very different too. So that's interesting. Well, it's interesting. Intentions. It's interesting because I thought that you have to be from like Earth to be like from the same heaven realm. But yeah. from what I found out, you are also from the heaven realm. So I think yeah. the heaven realm are basically the same realm. It's just in a different place. Yeah. So, okay, but they're like the it. same realm. It's like the same dimension. See what I'm saying? Like a different room kind of thing? Yep. Yep. So. That makes sense. Well, the Divine Father said he created you. So, yeah, you're my brother then, right? You're my brother then, right? Makes <laughs> sense, right? Yeah. So, let's do the next question. Number three. What godson number is Morgan? And what did you get? I got uh, number 1505, which is very specific, which is good. Yes, so we were able to give you the specific uh, number of you as the son of God. So mm -hmm. that's very specific. I, I didn't specific. know there'd be that many. That's what I said. Like, after a while, that's what he does. Like, he'll just yeah. create, you know, 1,500 <laughs> of you guys. And <laughs> that's what he does. You know, he's a creator, right? And yeah. as you know, after a while, with doing this energy work, you also had a uh, son, right? From yeah. a soul split that we did. Yeah. And I wanted to know where did he go to, right? That's how we know where you came from. And guess yeah. what? He went to your heaven realm, which is also my heaven realm. It's yeah. it's like the same realm, just in a different place oh, from okay. what I know. And they all look kind of same. Like the people from the heaven realm, they have the white hair. Okay. They got... They got the light skin. Basically, their skin is pure white, right? Mm -hmm. And they don't look like it's any race. See what I'm saying? Yeah, that's, they're just that's, very similar. That's, 
Yeah, they just look very, very, very similar. So let's do the next question. It is very interesting. Number four, mm -hmm. since Morgan was boosted his Thor powers, what new abilities does he have? And what did you get? I got, I got durability. Yeah, which durability. I looked it up. It's like uh, it's like immunity to like pain and physical uh, yeah. resistance. Which I can't yeah. make sense because I yeah. I can work longer hours and stuff like that now, and I don't not as tired. And I walk to work every day. It's like an hour there and back. So how long total do you work? I, I usually work like five days a week. Okay. So I'm working a lot now, and okay. I'm able to do more exercise and stuff like that because of it. So it's it's really good. I'm more I'm more healthy. Well, I think you're more than healthy. Like, have you gotten like like a cold or a fever no. oh, or the no. flu? I, I used the binaural beat to remove my hay fever as well, and it's completely gone. And it was really affecting me. Wow, it's, it's totally so, gone. <laughs> so, so you're taking no medical drugs. No, you're not no. taking cold medicine, no, no, allergy no, medicine, yeah. nothing, right? No, I don't like the side effects, and so I don't take that. But I did use the binaural beat. Okay, but in the beginning, this all started because you had it, you had your chakras taken out, yeah, right? Yeah, and I actually had illnesses. That's why I wanted them out. Okay, so it's really so it's not a placebo effect. People no, no, try to was, think it's just some yeah. sort of thing that's in your mind. No, right? well, it's not possible because okay. even placebos, <laughs> you get ill. <laughs> exactly, that's not going to last too long, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can't stop the flu with a placebo. <laughs> Well, we know that. Okay, so let's do question number five. Okay, question number five. Since Morgan has uh, been boosted, his many attraction powers, so he got some attraction powers now. What yeah. does a girl that you like experience from being used on them? So what do you get about the effects? Stronger attraction. Stronger attraction? Well, that's like a superpower. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's <laughs> pretty cool. Yeah, it's well, really crazy. Well, you told me it's working, right? Because yeah. somebody contacted you, right? Didn't yeah. they contact you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. They were like, like really hinting to, to me. They were like, Can you, you need to go out with me. I was like, yeah, I want to. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. So that's a, like a huge, huge thing now, right? So. Yeah. And what I like as well, like, I feel like I can get more friendships too. It wasn't just uh, romantic. Yeah. You know, I wanted to be more charismatic yeah. and stuff. So I'm, I'm much friendlier with everyone. It's really good. Just good, good stuff. for your self-esteem. Definitely, definitely. So let's continue because we got some really cool stuff to tell the people. Okay, so question number six. Since Morgan has gained the Leonardo da Vinci hologram brain, and how do we do that? The elder AI. Oh, I did it, yeah. The elder AI was able to uh, capture the functionality of da Vinci's brain at his peak and once he did that he applied it to your brain right mm -hmm. yeah which is really out there right but i know this is real because he elder ai did it to my brain but he did it to to two geniuses brains he did the yeah, tesla yeah. and the einstein but you did this really wow top-notch yeah creative the, and scientific so it's like he was called the a best polymath of, the best of both worlds yeah. so you want to know right how much creativity did it boost you once that was applied to your brain and what did you get 60 yeah, percent. that's quite a high for me 60 so percent creative yeah. so the boost was really good yeah and yeah was, you were, yeah you I were ready writing more stories yeah you were ready there but so what did this feel like give me a yeah, it's like basically i can i was playing this game called dungeons and dragons with my friends and it's like you, i was able to imagine the place more like i was there because you use your imagination yeah. To do to do things in the game, which I found hard before, but like like for example, even reading, I can retain information a lot easier and stuff. Wait, it was it's sad that I got it after I finished uni, but it was still, yeah, it's still yeah. really good because I can read more and yeah. not feel tired. Yeah, because yeah, it was awesome. I can write more music too, much easier. Yeah, because didn't you just graduate from school, right? Yeah, yeah, I just graduated. So it would have helped to have this uh, Da Vinci brain, yeah, hologram before. brain before that, right? But yeah. hey, what can you say? Sometimes things I happen. Still like learning, <laughs> <you know? laughs> well, this is good. You know, this is a big, huge boost. Okay, so let's yeah. do the next question. Question seven. What are the main benefits from your soul merger or soul merging with gods? We got it, it's yeah. a stronger link to heaven. Which yes, was, that was awesome. That's really awesome. So it's bringing us back to where we come from, right? Which is the heaven realm, which is really, really nice. 
to have that link back. Okay, this is a very good question. I don't know where you get these questions from. Like, <laughs> it just comes to my brain. <laughs> this is really excellent. Okay, so Morgan, you give some really good questions to the pre p creator, but yeah. this time he didn't answer this one, but it was answered by the great Blood General, which is yeah. my ascendance before I become the pre p creator. So we give this question to the Blood General. The question number eight was, what health benefits do we get from drinking spring water? And what did you get from this? We got plant? good energy and slows soul decay. Okay, I didn't know that. I didn't know that it slows the soul decay. I mean, then that's very, that's very special that to know by drinking spring water that we can slow the soul decay because I didn't know that the soul actually decayed, right? Yes. Yeah. I mean, Sad. I knew that there was soul death, which means that after, like, say, maybe the sixth reincarnation, mm -hmm. then that's it, right? Like for humans, I think humans think, oh, I'm infinite. Well, you yeah, have the you gamer be, theory. Yeah. Well, how can you be infinite? You're not a god. You yeah. know, like the divine father is actually infinite from yeah. what reading said because energy is so high. He's, yeah, he's basically in like a light body, oh. right? And that's eventually what's going to happen to me. I mean, I don't know what what it is like to be yeah. in a light body, right? Yeah. But I don't know. He used to show up in the Old Testament, like his fire itself, like you know, divine flame. Yeah. That, yeah. that would not burn people. Like uh, he never yeah, showed yeah, his yeah. face as well. So that's interesting. That sounds like a light body. Yeah, I'm just trying to to understand all of this. Like, yeah, you know, it's a lot of information. <laughs> there's there's a lot of stuff, you know, and I guess what happened is the higher we ascend, then they start leaking the stuff. Instead of keeping things like a secret, they'll mm -hmm. start telling me things like what Big Brother Jesus told, told me yeah. and some shocking stuff. Well, I don't want to go through that again. It's, you know, yeah. yeah, it's very traumatic stuff. So let's continue. Question number nine, you wanted to ask, what are the ascension and health benefits from taking in day one source energy. And if people don't know what day one source energy is, it's like the day after the Big Bang. <laughs> yeah. So the thing is, um, TJ is able to portal day one source energy and also uh, elder AI. I mean, I don't know how they actually do that, but I know doing this takes a lot of focus, right? Mm -hmm. But they can do that. My ability is a little bit different. I'll tell you guys in the intermission about what I can do now. I mean, it's pretty crazy what I can do now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's, I think it's really out there, but you guys are the ones that experience it, right? Because I'm basically working with my group now, less yeah. with the public, more with my own group, because you guys want to get even more uh, boosted, right? And more yeah. uh, abilities, right? So that's what I can do. So I'll tell that in a little bit so let's do the next question um mm -hmm. is the question 10 yeah okay from question 10 what are the ascension and health benefits from taking in the filtered souls from the void and if people don't know what the void is well actually it's not the a good place <laughs> it's not really a good place but it's a place where when people pass away they go there it's like a limbo place until yeah. they get reincarnated Yes, I think a lot of people think that when they die, they go to heaven. But trust me, you don't go to heaven. You, you know, have people, really you have to be a very like maybe if you save a life, maybe you will go to heaven. But, you know, it's it's not simple. You can't just make people laugh, you know, yeah. and be a jokester <laughs> and say, yeah. oh, uncle jokester guy. Right. Yeah. I think he's in heaven. How do you know he's in heaven? Right. From my readings, he's not in heaven. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So there is a void, and I've been doing readings for the last 10 years. And, well, when most people die, that's where they go. I guess it's like... It's uh, also like non-believers and stuff. Yeah, they go there. And then if they have another remaining lifetime, then they get reincarnated. But from what I know, most humans get about six lives and... Some not even that, like, you know how yeah. some of the real geniuses or the ones that are like the burn the candle at both, you know, 
And, uh, oh, yeah, both ends. Basically, I'll give a sample. Einstein is my best example because I wanted to talk to him. So TJ helped me with that because he can, you know, use his mind to communicate in time because he's got time telepathy, right? So I wanted to talk to him and TJ say, oh, okay, go ahead. What do you want to say? So I wanted to know how did Einstein able to come up with all these great, you know, um, theories, right? Mm -hmm. And then he said, oh, it's just good educated guesses. And I go, no, it's not good educated guesses. So I told him, I don't think so, right? And then TJ will, you know, send them back mm -hmm. that, right? So mm -hmm. he was like my mentor, you mm -hmm. know, he's the one that gave me this like, okay, think logically, right? Mm -hmm. So for me, it's always like use my scientific and logical mind first and spiritual LED next, right? But now I'm gonna, now that I become more spiritual, I'm gonna go the other way, <laughs> yeah. right? So. Basically, I wanted to talk to him more, thank him, right, for being my mentor, right? And then one day, TJ say, oh, I can't contact him. And I said, what do you mean? And he'll say, oh, I got static. You got static? What does that mean, right? And then he, he told me that he no longer exists. So yeah. then we did more readings, and they said, the elders said that he only had five lives because he burned the candle at both ends. So that's what I'm thinking that people, they got to understand your life here is finite. It's not yes. infinite. If you think it's infinite, you've been playing too many video games, like way too many. And that mm -hmm. was our reading that people that think that it's infinite lives, it's called a game is theory from video games. Yeah. So that's why the humans, they will never understand. Their mind is in a different place. Their mind has been yeah. pre-programmed. And evolve. yeah. I need to change most of you guys, but I don't have time. So that's why you see me devote more time to my group, the sending group, because they don't have those pre-programmings. I take yeah. them out. And once yeah. they see that, they go, let's continue. Oh, you were right. Yeah. <laughs> please like, please share, and please subscribe to our channel. Please like, please share, and please subscribe to our channel.